Welcome to the Freedom from Depression course. My name is Michael Dare, and I'm the creator and owner of HerbalThing.com. I created HerbalThing.com with the intentions of helping as many people as possible in the wellness area. Wellness being both mental and physical health. I created this specific depression course to help those who have suffered from depression and are ready to get out of it. This course wasn't designed for you to take it and then you suddenly snap out of depression because it doesn't work like that. This course was designed to provide you the tools and perspective on how you can tackle your own life and mold the life that you want. The contents of this course come from my own personal experience with depression for several years, as well as my experiences with hundreds of other people who have also suffered from depression. With that being said, let's get to section one. Section one, the truth about depression. Depression, what it is. We all know that depression is a constant feeling of unhappiness with a lack of desire towards many things. I know when I was depressed that I didn't have much desire for anything. I didn't really care what happened to me. I didn't care how my day went. I just had an overall negative view of things and the negative thoughts were just constant and they would just flood into my mind even when it was uncalled for. For example, I would be laughing at a joke or I'd be laughing with friends and family but then negative thoughts would just pop into my mind every time I tried to be happy. And this is one of the effects of being depressed, one of the many. The other ones are difficulty sleeping, too much sleeping, uh, difficult to make decisions, over and under eating, drowsiness, being overly emotional or even emotionless. Through depression, you experience virtually all of these things. Slowly, you just start off with a few of them, but eventually, the symptoms just pile on. And not surprisingly, these symptoms even worsen the depression themselves and make it even harder to get out of depression. But why does depression happen? Why is it that someone else living a similar life just like us isn't depressed? Why is it that they are happy with even, let's say, a worse situation than us? Why is this so? Well, to put it simply, the person or you who became depressed was not built to handle the events that cause the depression. And what I mean by built, I'm not saying that it's part of your genetics or you were just born this way. I'm saying that you didn't adapt in such a way where the, your life events are considered small to you. Our life events are all relative. If someone else was living our life, it would be relative to them on how it would affect them personally. Some people have been through more things, some people have been through less, and because of that we experience different things. And these experiences are what build us. And when we are ready for certain life events, we don't have depression. But when we're not ready, in terms of our mind, and even our body, depression hits. Depression is a response. It doesn't hit you for no reason. If you think about it, why? does it even exist? Why is it a thing? Why is depression even here? Humans don't get depression because your body just feels like giving up. That's not why depression is here. Depression is here to help us. Let me give you an example. So taking the idea that depression is a response by our minds, we can use the example that getting sore after a workout is also a response for our body. Being sore after workout is our body's way of telling us that that was difficult, that was painful, we weren't ready for this. But luckily, we really don't have to do anything for our body to adapt to that. Our body takes care of itself as long as we get the proper nutrients in, such as protein, carbs, and fats. Our muscles, tendons, and bones will all rebuild to be able to handle the intensity of that workout in the future day. So what seemed to be a hard and painful workout for our bodies the week before, now our body has effectively adapted to it and we can handle more of an intense workout. And the cycle just repeats and repeats. This is exactly what depression is. Is our mind feeling sore? Is that pain? It is our mind's way of telling us, hey, something needs to change. This is painful. We can't handle this. We need to improve or life needs to change. Either way, you have to do something about it. So in short, we must become resilient. But instinctively, that almost comes to us. We in a way know that we have to change something. It's just a natural response, similar to how when we put our hands close to fire, 
our hands begin our hands begin to get hot and we ver quickly remove our hands away almost ex instinctively similar to that we instinctively know when we have depression that something needs to happen it just can't continue like this life can't just be like this forever right we know this and the natural thought that comes to our minds is that we try to go back to who we were when we were happy before our depression we think how when we were happy we did this and then we did that throughout our days and we had this in our life and this is how things were going and we were happy and we try to go back and trace our footsteps if you will however the problem with this is that the you that fell into the depression is not the one that you need to get out of it that you who was happy and had this in their life and had that in their life was not resilient enough to be able to handle the current life events that you now have so going back to being that person and doing what that you did is not going to get you out of depression it may temporarily make you happy however you're going to go back into depression and it just becomes a cycle of being depressed and then you're being happy a little bit and then you go back in. So many depressed people experience this and they don't know why. I have this one friend who is very close to me. She suffered from a major accident 20 years ago and ever since she has been depressed up until one year ago. Throughout the entire time of her being depressed, she always thought about her old self. She always told me how her old self would do this, her old self had this, her old self had that. How people would talk to her like this, or how she would talk to other people like that. Everything was about the old her. And I told her the same thing that I'm telling you guys. That the old you cannot handle this life situation you're in. You need somebody better. You need not the old you, but the improved you. Now while depressed, you feel almost hopeless useless even this again is your mind's way of telling you in a tough love type of way that this you is just not good enough you need to be better you have to improve so what is depression trying to do for you with all this being said simply put it's trying to give you a new perspective it's trying to give you a new perspective on yourself and in your life it's also trying to push you to change and adapt Overall, make you stronger and a happier person in your life. Depression is trying to do you a favor. It is providing you the tools. It is, it is the tool for you to be able to take and create power to change your own life.